This is Gail Ferris. I have put together this an Nantucket sleigh ride for you. This is to illustrate seaworthiness of a boat under very stressful condition. This footage I obtained from Whaling Museum in Massachusetts. And these guys are going for one royal ride under very difficult conditions. This boat is unballasted. It can be sailed. It does have a centerboard trunk. You can see how the water shears off the bow. It uh, has a lovely rounded bilge. It's very seaworthy. It's being steered from the stern by a long sweep oar. The stability of this boat is a factor due to its design. The boat has a keel which is not so pronounced that it can't be easily turned around. In another moment you'll see what happens when the boat gets flipped over finally by a whale. It has lovely rounded bilges. At the New Bedford Museum where this film is on display, they also have this very boat in their collection. And in this moment the whale turns on the boat and flips it over. And now you can see the bottom of the boat. Here is one of their whale boats on display in New Bedford. And this is to show you um, from the stern looking forward the roundness of the bilges. It is a simple planked boat, easily repaired, very lightweight. It's lightweight, so it can be deployed very quickly. And here you have the shape of it. You can see how the bottom integrates with the upper portions of the boat. Here is the actual boat that was in the film that we were watching. And this is the details of the bottom of the boat. It has a lovely soft shape, but where the distribution of the curves run makes for the seaworthiness of this boat. It's the shape of this boat that makes it so seaworthy. It was not designed to rely on ballast to give it seaworthiness. It was designed to also be repaired very easily with a simple cedar planking.